Today, I'm going to show you how to replace Cinnamon with LXQT on a brand new installation of Linux Mint 20. Let's start by installing Linux Mint. Installation is finished. Time to restart the computer. So we start Linux Mint. And we're ready to start using our new system. And we have our brand new Linux Mint in a nutshell. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing what we want, which is LXQT. I prefer OpenBox. Normally, the, the LXQT package installs the XFC components. I prefer to be a little bit lighter, so I will have OpenBox, the OpenBox configuration, the Compton compositor. Uh, I know that may seem an overkill for a light system. You may or may not install it. I like to install it because I like the transparency. We also are also going to remove what we don't want, everything that has to do with Cine Cinnamon, with MetaCity, the XFC components that were installed. Optionally, you can remove the applications that have fu duplicated functionality. When we install LXQT, it comes with certain applications that will duplicate the applications that are already installed in Linux Mint. That, again, is a very, very personal decision. I'm listing here some of the duplicated ones for you to have a look and maybe decide which ones you want to keep. And finally, we are going to configure LXQT and OpenBox. Again, I'm not going to get into the details there because it's a very personal decision. So. Why don't we start right now? Let's copy the command. And you will see here it installs a lot of applications. I recommend that you copy the list of packages that uh, that are going to be installed for you to review at a later time to see what uh, that is installed you care about. Maybe you want to remove certain things. I could have also gone package by package and just select what I wanted, but yeah, I think it's easier to remove. If you see, it's, here it's going to install XFconf, XFWM4. So instead of going one by one, it's easier to remove just what we don't want. So let's continue here. And we're done with this part of the installation. Before we remove anything, let's restart our system. Here, once that is restarted, we get to the login screen. Now we can change to the LXQT desktop. And we say that we're going to use OpenBox as our window manager. And we have our new system up and running. It seems that it's working well. So now it's time to start removing the components that we don't want. We copy the command again. Let's open a console. And again, it's a good idea to copy into a document everything that we installed. If some, something is giving us a tr trouble, now we know what to do. So we're going to continue removing what we don't want. And everything is uninstalled. So we're going to leave and reboot. See you in a couple of seconds. And we're done. Now the next step is going to be for you to configure your Linux Mint the way you want. I will do some changes and I will show you and see you after I'm done with them, just to see the kind of things that you can do with uh, LXQT. And here is the final version. It what I did is I enabled Compton to get the transparency. I stopped some applications from auto starting.
I added Meteo to show me the, the local weather. And I added two extra environment variables, these two, to be able to get the dark themes. For the panel, I obviously moved it to the right. I so I, I, I moved it to the right. I changed the back, background color to be transparent and I overwrote the icon theme to be mint white dark. I removed the widgets that I didn't like, for example, the keyboard state indicator, I moved the show desktop down, I removed the quick launch because I moved it somewhere else, I removed the leap button that was there, and the quick launch where it was, I configured the desktop switcher to have two rows, and it's, it's, so we could move so I could move horizontally my desktops. I lowered the opacity of the background. And what else? Ah, on the menu, I changed the configuration to clear the search on showing menu. So when I start typing something here, And the next time that I open the menu, the menu shows instead of showing me the search. I configured the task manager to show me only the icons and to use the icons by window class. I think that they look better. And I added a new panel at the bottom where I just increase the size of the icons, align it to the center, select it to auto high, don't reserve space on the display, lower the opacity of the background. So here we can see the, the configuration, lower the opacity of the background, and I had a quick launcher with applications that I use the most. And of course, I set up the length here to be able to be just as wide as the applications that I have. On the desktop, I selected the a slideshow for my own pictures. In this case, I just have two of my pictures. And I removed all the visible shortcuts. I don't like shortcuts on the desktop. And on the LQ appearance configuration, I set up the Q style to GTK2. So I could use the Mint Y Dark and the Mint Y Dark for the GTK2 and GTK3 themes. For the icons, I select the Mint Y Dark. Yes, I, that was what I intended. Uh, for the LXQ team, I selected ambience. I just like the orange there, and that's all I did there. And for the Windows effects, I went to opacity. The only thing that I did is I changed the opacity for the inactive window. If you see here, this window, the one behind, has some opacity. If I click here, then the other window has the opacity. And I removed the opacity for the title bars and borders. But you can play with this however you want. And finally, something that I think should be a default for Openbox is I added some key bindings to be able to tile and, uh, and snap the the windows to wherever I want. So if I want to maximize, move to the left, to the right, upper corner, up, all that with the bindings that I found on this page. It, it is just a matter of configuring it on the open box configuration file. And that's it. And that's all I have to show you. I hope you like it and have fun configuring the desktop the way you want. Now, I think that this LXQT looks as nice as and professional as any other desktop that I ever had.